Harris from eight yards out, bursting across for the stand goal from the five yard line. Dom raised old right. He'd replaced the injured Burt Jones and he hit Glenn Dowdy. And after the extend, Rocky Blyer, one of the most courageous men in the National Football League, gets across for a touchdown for the Steelers, who are ahead, score of 14 to 10. And here's the play. Ball jarred loose. Russell's got it. Rule the fumble. And there he goes. 93 yards. That, of course, a playoff record. The final score, Pittsburgh 28, Baltimore Colts 10. But if I might, Irv, I can say this. Opening drive, the Polish rifle became the Polish Jeep. And the Rams led on the West Coast. They were ahead by a score of 7 to nothing when Jimmy Hart tossed this pass out into the right flat, and Jack Youngblood, who can run about as fast as any defensive lineman, well, his teammate Freddie Dreyer probably can keep it. As Frank Lieber has pointed out, a couple of interceptions have done the job. And here is Bill Simpson, who always seems to be around that football, picking off this pass on the Ram 33, and he'll take it back 67 yards for the touchdown, and after the Dempsey extra point was no good, and then Ron Jaworski filling in for the injured James Harris, 68 yards, Harold Jackson, and so at the half, it is 28. I give to Dennison, and he is very close. Same result. Tony Fritsch adds the point after him. And, it's a, and Tony Fritsch is going to attempt the field goal of 25 yards. It's a 7-7 game. Waters to hold, and Fritsch's kick is good. At the one, Carpenter asking for some quiet. Brad giving up. McClanahan, and he's in. Point after attempt now by Fred Cox with the 5-11 mark. 13 to 10 the score, and it's now 14 to 10. He is going to go through Pearson. He got it. Touchdown. I didn't know they had it for a while. We got the ball back. Oh. Now 16 to 14, the point after attempt. Tony Fritz. game plan and went right for the jugular. Mike Ciani's touchdown. The tiger was virtually caged when Dave Casper scored the last of Oakland's 31 points. The
fake to both of them. Staubach, a little jump screen to the left side to Preston Pearson. He's to the 10, to the 5, gets by Simpson, touch. And he picks that one up as his third touchdown pass of the year. Sonny Fritz picks it up and good. So the Cowboys. The four, Staubach looked to the end zone where Golden Richards had found his own little piece of real estate. And went to Preston Pearson on a play that iced away a Dallas victory and a play that will linger on in the memory of all who witnessed its splendid precision. Running threat made this seldom seen shuffle pass to Preston Pearson work. Nineteen yards late, later, three more points to Dallas as three plays later, Tony Frisch socked home a 30-yard field goal to give the Cowboys an almost unbelievable 31. Rams trying to get on the boards, leading without a score today. Jaworski to Capaletti. And the field goals had one block. Try and put the PAT to it, and he does. Pearson, the ex dealer at the three. Reverse comes to Henderson, the linebacker. They've got it set up. He's got 9-5 speed. He can really go. Tom Henderson back to the 44-yard line of Pittsburgh. Stop. Roger Staubach sets him up as Pearson moves to his back. And he takes to Pearson. Staubach going for the bundle. Got through Pearson across the middle. He might get in. Touch That's the fake. See where Lambert, number 58, goes. Lambert drops back. He's still undecided. I can tell you, Drew Pearson coming under. He's not only a gutsy receiver, he's dynamite when you have to catch it. Look at this. 7 nothing Dallas. And he does. Eligible receiver spot as a flanker, the guard. There he goes. Bradshaw. Touchdown. The guard go right behind Bradshaw. Watch this. 72 goes in. The fake is there. Everybody's fooled. And there's a free agent from Temple. Alden holding. Roy Girella will try to tie. It got old Dugan. But Edwards looked like the intended receiver. Now Tony Frisch on the 26-yard line. Tough win today, remember. Frisch got it high enough. Let's see. His reaction would tell you that it's going to be good. Left now in the fourth period. They're trying to block it. And then out of the end zone. It's 10-9. Out of the end zone, of course, is an automatic safety. <laughs> Looked to me like that Hupps took a lot of time getting that one placed on the foot for kicking from the two-yard line. Back to Pittsburgh. Fumble now, Girello with Walden holding. At the nine, from 19 yards out, he is good again. He carried 34 times last year, you recall. Here is Bradshaw. Bothered from behind. Lynn Swan is open. Got it. Steeler to the game. All right, here he is, number 12. He does not like the play pass. And what difference does it make now? Gets a run by the Blitz. Mel Renfro, man. Here it is. And Lynn Swan does it again. Mark Washington's there. But he's in the wake by about a step and a half. Cowboys have to get in and score a touchdown in this drive if they hope to get back into this game. Starback looking deep and scoring deep. Oh, oh. pass interference. Touchdown. Here's another shot of it. Here's Percy Howard. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Look, yep. He just went by Blunt. Yes, he did. When he looked back, Frisch hits the extra point with Waters hold. Last play of Super Bowl 10, unless we have a penalty. Starback pumps. Fires. That's all. Picked off in the end zone by Good Edwards, and he's going to bring it out. This one is over. Edwards is down at the 28. Steelers repeat.